Ready? You ready? Say when. You ready? Are you ready? Aye. Okay, let's go. Hi. Welcome back to Tackett's House of Horsepower. I'm Steve Tackett. And uh, I did have to work today in my regular day job, but I'm here in the garage at the end of my day. I come and do some more work. So uh, that's how we do it, you know? It doesn't get done unless you get out here and do it. So uh, I'm in a garage and uh, I wanted to keep going on this little 283. Um, I'm getting excited, I'm getting close, and uh, I wanna hear it run. Um, no, it's not the most fanciest, wildest, craziest, horsepowerest engine I've ever built, but you know what I mean? It's fun and um, I like doing it. And I wanna, I wanna you know, put it back on the street. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment. You know, sometimes you, building a, a stock little motor like this is, uh, is, uh, is fun. It's, it's a stress reliever, I guess. So uh, we are going to continue with the intake manifold. And I was just gonna blast through these last couple little steps because I figured, you know, most people probably know how to do it. But then I thought, well, some people might not. So maybe I'll just do this as a short video um, to, the, uh, to the other engine build videos. So uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just do a short video on this one. So uh, anyway, let's get started. All right, here's where we left off. Um, we're ready to put the intake manifold on. As always, step one is clean, clean, and clean. So gasket surfaces have to be clean. Bolt holes have to be clean. There can't be nothing in here. When, it's, uh, when this engine is sitting, I keep a plastic bag over it. Uh, I don't want dust, dirt, dog hair, anything getting into the motor. So I keep it all covered at all times, unless I'm out here working on it. Anything that's open like this, you don't want to. You don't want nothing getting in it. So keep it clean. Keep it covered. Um, we're gonna drop the intake manifold on. So I want to point out a couple of things first. And this is I, a lot of times I tell stories and stuff from personal experience. Um, I worked on a guy's truck. He couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, and uh, he brought it to me. And um, he had just put an intake manifold on it, an Edelbrock an aftermarket intake manifold on it, and. Um, he started bending, he bent some push rods. It was running like garbage. He couldn't figure out what he did wrong. And uh, I want to point out a few things. Here's what happened. If you look at some of these bolt holes, like this one, you'll notice that the push rod is right behind the bolt hole. See that? That bolt hole goes all the way through. And you can see there's a push rod back there. Well, that's a problem. If you put a bolt, any old 3 8 bolt on here, you're gonna have a problem because there's a couple of push rods that line up with bolt holes. So if you stick a bolt in here that's too long, it's gonna go through, it's gonna hit that push rod. You're gonna bind it up, you're gonna bend it, you're gonna cause metal shavings, you're gonna have a world of hurt on your hands. So be careful, use the right bolts, make sure you're not just slamming any old 3 8 bolt in here. All right, this is how I do it. I put a little, I know it looks like a lot, but it's not. It looks like a lot, but it's, it's thin, I promise. I put silicone around all the bolt holes, and this hole is water jacket, that hole is water jacket, and that is an exhaust crossover. So I go around that, and I go around, the water jacket part and all the bolt holes the reason for that is these bolt holes are going to leak oil if you don't the crankcase pressure the oil will come up through the bolt holes you ever seen a uh, a car at the car show and there's oil puddling up on top of the intake right here it'll go up the bolt holes it'll go up the threads it'll you'll get oil here you'll get water leaking here don't don't go crazy just put a thin coat of silicone in those three places and around the bolt holes then you can lay your gasket on there so you end up with something that looks like this see 
not too much silicone it's not squishing out I pressed it down I got my exhaust crossover kind of plugged I am going to use the stock choke and, and the and the heat uh, spring that controls the, the choke so I left that in um, a little bit of silicone not too much there you go now do both sides just like that all right both sides are on there just like that we got a little crazy on this side but we won't don't tell anybody it'll be our little secret okay next you take these gaskets right here and you put them right there okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay a big old fat bead of silicone right there and right there I'll show you that in a second just like that mm-hmm lay it on there nice and thick there you go just like that the reason why we do that is because most intake manifolds are all different heights and your cylinder heads have been machined surfaced and the block gets decked and whatever whatever you use the stock rubber ones or the cork ones it's going to smash it push it out and then uh, it's going to leak for sure so do that make sure you get it the corners all the way up in the corner nice like that and then um you're about ready to set the intake on i sometimes do a little bit around the, the bolt holes i'm a freak about these bolt holes they uh they leak water or, or they leak oil and uh i hate that so i don't know i'll show you all right i'm ready i'm gonna set it on there um this thing i'm using the stock cast iron intake manifold and that thing weighs like 400 pounds i'm not even kidding so i almost need to move the motorcycles out and get the cherry picker because this thing weighs a freaking ton um so uh it also is kind of a pain because normally on a like the chevelle you could look straight down the runners and you can see the ports and uh it's a high-rise single plane those ones are nice because you can you can line up the the ports with your eyeballs but in this case i've got a stock little two barrel intake manifold and uh I can't do that so I'm just gonna rely on the bolt holes to kind of eyeball it in and set it on there as straight as I can I don't want to set it on there and slide it back and forth because then the, the gaskets are gonna move so you kind of need to do it in one shot and uh, not move it around once you do this once you set it down you know what I mean so get it up here oh, good lord line up those bolt holes both sides look all right. Get it about equal. Boom. Leave it there. Looks good. All right. Now, check your holes. Check your holes. Look down in there. Oh, yeah. It's lined up nice. Check your uh, one size fits all gasket in the front and the back. That's one size fits all and uh it's gonna squish out a little bit we can clean that up before it dries don't worry don't worry it'll be okay now the next thing i do is very important i take my intake manifold bolts and i put silicone on them about three quarters of the way up on those threads just about that much is what you need Put a little silicone on those threads and then stick them in okay i've seen other guys just put them in dry you just love sticking it in dry don't do that put a little silicone on them threads i'm telling you i'm gonna come and i'm gonna see your car at the car show i'm gonna see your car at the track i'm gonna see your boat at the boat ramp and i'm gonna look and there's gonna be oil there's gonna be oil right here it's gonna be all oily right here and I'm gonna know I'm gonna know you didn't watch this video so if you see somebody at a car show or at the track and there's oil all piled up right in there send them this video for me and there you go 
I get all the bolts in, silicone on all the threads, and then I run them down by hand. I just put them in finger tight, boom, till they hit bottom. I haven't tightened anything yet. Once you get everything in, all the bolts down till they touch, just till they touch, that's it. Then you can go ahead and start torquing it. What I do is you start in the middle and you do an X, 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 and you, and you work your way out, right? Cross, 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 cross. And you just keep doing that until you get them all tight and you get them all down. The, the key is to bring them all down equal. You don't want this thing to, to shift to the one side or the other. What that'll do is you, you might seal on one side and leak on the other. You, you'll get water, water leaking down into the oil you get a vacuum leaks all that so the trick is to suck it down equally even and equal so crossways pattern torque it down uh the spat factory spec is like 35 or 40 45 i don't know i tighten them i tighten the hell out of them it's all right but uh the key is to work your way down slow take your time Go crossways, suck it down nice and smooth and evenly. All right, intake's on. I went ahead and threw the valve covers on too because look how cool they are. Come on now. Those OG script valve covers, that's what it's about. So anyway, I think that's about it for today. All right, y'all, take it easy.